Welcome, kings and queens, to another episode of Unapologetic, your number one podcast. Give me a great review. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And not walk out. So all that comes together, you never get to just sit back like, yeah, I got this. I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'm, they are great. They're going to come. Right. No, you can say that about yourself individually. Like, if I go out right now, People were expecting me to dress. Man, I'm going out like this. I'm, I'm, because I'm Jr. <laughs> Not because I'm Jr. Gray. I'm just Jr. from the skit. I'm, I'm oh, they think you're supposed to put a whole Steve Harvey suit hey, on. Come on, man. Steve Harvey, some Gucci, some all it, bro. I'm so regular. You know what I'm saying? And that's one of the things that I, I think that's has captured people for me because I have not, I've, ne- I've never fit in. And every time I try to fit in, I look like a fool. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's, and that's one thing I know it sounds corny, but be yourself. You know, that's the reason why I have all these different artists. And I'm being real, man. Literally, I had about. Last night, I could not stop getting off the phone because everybody was calling me about different shows and different things. I'm like, man, listen, I'm, man, give me a second to myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, <laughs> and especially when you got people that's on the West Coast and oh, it's yeah. late. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You got to. It's, it's bumping, bro. Man, it's now I got bumping. people in Dubai. So now I got people, and I'm telling you about it, I got people in Dubai now that's picking my brain to do shows out there that's going to be. What? Which is, yeah, man. Yeah, it's, that's it's exclusive. Old, yeah, so I'm, 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 I'm moving, I'm moving a thousand miles per minute, but I'm moving correctly. I'm not just moving just to be moving. I'm moving it strategically, you know, in, in a way that I know that uh, uh, that's going to be beneficial to what my brand is, you know. So, right. yeah, man. I hope I gave you. I, see, I don't know how to. I, 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 that's what I need to work on right now. But as a manager. <laughs> What I'm learning as a manager, um, man. everybody knows that right now I'm working with Zane. Lil Zane was a, a, one of the pop cultures, hip hop, and all around uh, star in the early 2000s. Uh, right now he's researching on power, uh, 50 Cent's BMF. Uh, he's wow. coming back again in another role. Uh, one of the things I make sure people know that you know, I didn't create Zane's career. I came in to help him where he's at now, to curate new things, to put stuff together. So I can't take any credit for what was already built, what he's done. That's not my lane. You know what I'm saying? I know about it. I understand it. But that's not where I I, I didn't help him in that. So that's one thing about being a manager. People don't understand. Just because I manage him, that doesn't mean I get what he had back then or I take any type of credit. Zane trusts me enough to come in where he's at now and seeing what I got going on in the marriage of the match, match perfectly. So that means that, you know, we're taking where we're at right now. How can we escalate this to the next point? You know what I'm saying? You deal with a lot of topics in the industry um, from all these shade rooms, the, yeah. pre, the, the more prevalent artists that are now going in now. But, you know, we, 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 we're we taking what we have from the movies that have been Dr. Doolittle. Uh, uh, Dr. Doolittle was a doctor. I think it was Dr. Doolittle 2. His movie, yeah. uh, uh, Finding Forrester. Um, almost uh, the movie him and Beyonce was in when they were singing uh, uh, him oh. and... Uh, uh, I can't. My mind is blank right now. Ah, we working right. on so many projects. We working yeah. on so many projects. So just to think about um, the many things that my brother has done uh, in this relationship that we we've accumulated over the last few months has just been an absolute blessing. And uh, so I'm really happy to to help steer him as he steers me in some things that I don't know. Uh, right. This is it's always this is a a place where you know you always are coming into learning. Uh, entertainment industry for me right now needs a change, and uh, mm-hmm. I'm looking at it from a. I'm looking at it. I'm just being out. I look at it from a spiritual standpoint. You know, I deal with people. I don't deal. With, I don't look at you as an individual. I look at your spirit. You know, I read you like that. I see where you want to go. I see what you want to do. I see your energy. I see where you know. What I'm saying your your mindset is, and I apply that because all money ain't good. Say that just because mm-hmm. a lot of money. I've turned down plenty of money. Not to sell my soul, meaning that I don't I don't care about it. I'm on, I'm okay regardless. You know what I'm saying? And, and people who I have around me are the same way. But we're not just doing anything for the bang of the buck. We're doing it because we really enjoy it, we really love it, and we really care about what's being presented to the world. So uh, managing has to be a a real thought out process because you're you're taking over somebody's livelihood, and you can make a decision that can break that. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you're trying to uh, uh, take someone to the to the next level because of what you say and what they know that you can do. Right. You have to be really careful with that. That's the reason why I don't manage uh, too many people that have not, you know, really um, pushed for themselves in their own life. You know what I'm saying? You can make, you don't, people don't understand there's so much talent in the world that's unutilized. And you try to 
tell somebody what to do so many times and they don't listen. Right. You just waste your breath. Right. You know what I'm saying? You mess around and look up and it's four or five years and you tell this person the same thing while somebody that listen to their manager is taking off. You know what I'm saying? And it's all about just being real, real, real respectful of that person's time and the energy. So if I told you once to do something and you don't want to do it, not a command, it's because I know what works and you don't do it, then I got to respect you that you don't want to do this. I don't need to beat this in your head time and time again. Obviously, my language and our communication are on one path, so I need to separate myself and go ahead right. and do something else. So you got to know when to hold them, when to fold them, and when to walk away. I know that's an old saying on song, but, but it's really true, man. To the fullest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's real, man. It's crazy. A lot of these old quotes that I used to hear, you know, old people say, you know, and uh, do and whatever, it's, it's, it's relevant to me now because it's a lifestyle that I'm a part of and I see every day in this entertainment industry and you can get caught up in some things that can just slowly and quickly kill you. Mm. And you just want to make sure that you use wisdom. When I say kill, you don't mean necessarily physical, but just kill your, your drive, kill your spirit, mm. kill your mental. will, Everything. kill your mental. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. be stressed out, man. All because of trying to do something that's not meant for you. You know what I'm saying? So that makes that, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, I'm real blessed to be uh, uh, a servant. You know what I'm saying? That's what I call myself. I'm a servant to the people. I'm able to uh, to push and and um, find my my find my my blessings and and, and helping. Uh, do I get paid for my help? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Do I get paid for my help? Yes. Do I get recognized for my help? Yes. Do I get recognition? Yes. Uh, do I get um, uh, tired? Yes. You know, all those oh, things yeah. come together, man. You know, you get wore out sometimes. I don't have a bedtime. I just try to figure out where to put myself at in bed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because you have, you literally, right. I'm, I'm competing. Literally, I'm in, it's, it's crazy. I'm in Muskegon, bro. And this, no, this is this is how I, I've changed up. Even this year, man, I've, of course, you know, I've, I've went through a dramatic change in my life with the way I hung out. and Even with me pulling away from, you know, nightlife the way I, I have. And, you know, just re reconstructing my life. Even now, I'm looking at, you don't always have to be on the road in order to make successful deals on a phone call. I literally, I'm in Muskegon right now, talk to everybody from TI's management, Love and Hip Hop, Zane, uh, Moneybag Yo yeah, Tour, yeah, Little Boy, see. right here in Muskegon, right here in Muskegon, bro, on Wood Street at my mama's house, or Jack <laughs> Hill, or Fesswell Park, I'm wherever else. I could be at the Chicken Coop, Texan, and everybody, the, the towers are signaling back here Muskegon, Michigan, all these deals and all these things are getting done right here in hometown. And it's not a hard thing to believe. It's, it's just because you got a bunch of other big companies like, you know, uh, what's the factories around here? You know what I'm saying? All the different oh, factories. Oh, yeah, you got, you know, yeah. Yeah, they make seat belts and they go hey, out to different yeah, parts. That's all I'm doing. I'm just making yeah. the connections and doing what I can. You know, you got billion dollar companies right here in Muskegon. Why not? Why can't I be a billion dollar industry for myself? You know what I'm saying? I look at myself as a brand. And right now what's August, so this is the second month of the of fiscal year. I started trying, I started changing my language, started looking at different things. Like I'm not just a promoter, I'm a business, I'm a brand. And how can I make myself consistently grow? I gotta stay on my knees and pray and read my word as God to guide me as I'm doing this, man. Cause that's the number one thing for me is making sure I'm walking in purpose and making sure I'm creating what's needed and not what's being uh sorry. No, you good. What's needed and what's not needed you know what i'm saying well, how do yeah. i line up you know so so what, what, what what's up with these tours man the money can, can you give us a little bit for the money bag yo um so what so so here it is the money bag yo uh tour is coming to detroit um okay. we i was brought in as a consultant marketing and uh what's the mm. word uh consultant marketing and partial with some you know I act creator. And uh, right now I'm just a part of the one-off show, meaning like it was a tour date that wasn't on their main tour. And right. so a company bought it and they brought it to Detroit to the amphitheater called Shane Park. Well, now it's called Aretha. Um, my first time actually working in Aretha with my uh, mentor, Suleiman, who's uh, is one of the owners of the Aretha Franklin Amphitheater. Me and him have worked, but I've never worked in this capacity. So for me to be able to, in that self, for me to be able to make a full, like, dang, I'm working with one of my mentors. Right, who's, bro. That's who's a part big. of a big conglomerate around, who's actually the, the biggest independent 
tour company right now called the BPC. They've done the Mary J. J. Blige Hello Gorgeous tour, wow. uh, the New Edition, Jodeci, and uh, Charlie Wilson tours, the Maxwell Midnight tour. These are all the people that's been doing it. Hey. Millennium tour, with, you know, like so for me to be able to actually come into this building now and all the conversations that we had, all the things I didn't ask him, mind you. Someone asked me who rented his building, say, hey, we need the best of the best. Uh, I guess they feel like I was probably one of the best in, in some consent of what I'm doing and brought me in. So for me to be able to come back 360 like that, you know what I'm saying, shows that's you hard, how, how it's that's consistent. That's hard right there. Yeah, it's a blessing, man. That's hard. Like, now you're on the same level as your mentor. And man, I mean, you know, in a sense, I, I see what you're saying. You get what I'm saying? Not, not, yeah. not as far as experience and yeah livelihood but as far as like the work you put in the credibility yeah. you know that that's that's something like fighters you know they fight for a championship they want something mm -hmm. that sticks to the ribs a narrative so mm -hmm. and that's like that is what you have created like you said uh earlier you was focused on creating not just uh a company but you 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 yourself is a walking entity you're a brand Everywhere you go, you represent J.R. Tate. <laughs> That's it. I don't care if you go to church, I'm J.R. Tate. Thank, thank the Lord. <laughs> but I'm J.R. Tate. Right. That's real. That's real. So I, I, I respect that because as, as, as another business owner to another, bro, I'm the same freaking way. You know what I'm saying? I'm wearing mm -hmm. something that has my logo on it. Somebody know something about me now i go to places now like like how you explain for yourself man you go to places people run up to you what up man i like your show man it was great yeah thank you <laughs> like, you don't know what it yeah. is. thank you and so hearing you stay humble like that and giving that feedback to those who are wanting to be in your position want to be in the shoes that you're being in you you're actual not not you're all, also a a role model for others. You're mentoring others without really being there for, you know, physically being there. And that's dope. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. My thing is, you know, each one teach one. You know, I, it's, it's, right. a, it's, it's a gift that God gave, gave me to management, to manage it. And I'm, I'm looking to, to share it with the world. You know, my experience, I tell people, uh, anything people want to know that I can give, you know, legally, I'll give it to them. You right. Know, it's not, not See how you said legally. Yeah, literally something I can't tell you. Know, where did yeah, where, yeah, yeah. Where's that literally. address that? I won't go say hi. Nah, bro, I can't give you that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta right. do it. I'll do it in that in that realm in that way of of, of able to uh, you know to give, man. I I never forget. I asked somebody before, hey man, teach me how to do this. Oh, I can't teach you how to do it. You might take my business. What? Still learning anyway. And actually, <laughs> yeah, somebody asked me one time, bro, can you teach me how to do it? Yeah, sure. Come on. And I right. showed him it was too much for him. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's the people see, here's the thing is, and I don't want people, you see all the good stuff, all the, see all the frosting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? On, on cake, but you don't see what's underneath that, in that cake that was good to make that cake be the, what the it process. is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The process. You know what I'm saying? The ingredients. Like, yeah, you see me with him, such hers or whatever. But you don't understand what I had to do over the last some ten years to get to this point <laughs> now, and I'm Jeez. just bare, and I listen. I'm, I ain't. I'm. 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 I'm just now coming to the door. You know what I'm right. saying? And